watching me. Hi everyone. Do you want to say hi? Hi everyone. That's it. Mason is joining me today and um, the reason being is that I feel quite uh, festive and it's almost end of November and we decided to do something yeah, together. Yeah, it's number. My is my school and nursery. Mm -hmm. So if an other works with me, I'll be best friend with me. <laughs> That's very good. So what we prepared first of all is this little pom-pom soup. And literally, uh, you just need tiny little mini pom-poms. I got these from Hobbycraft uh, last year and I didn't use all of them up. So it's the, they sell them in separate color packs. So this was yellow, orange and pink. I don't know if they will have them this year available. If they will, I will certainly get more. Uh, but we will use them later in the end. Um, so what we're going to do today is is <laughs> we're going to make Christmas tree decorations. Christmas tree decorations, yeah! Yeah, and then we can also, um, or you can also translate the same thing into uh, Christmas cards if you wish. So I'm going to use my, um, my FOTD uh, stamp set and I'm going to use a couple of other things. So. I'm just going to let you know, basically, uh, first of all, there's this uh, hole reinforcer and I will use that to create a nice um, reinforcement for a tag. Now, you can get these... And these you will get with this, with the Christmas tree decorations with this. And make bows with nail polish so my really loose like this you go down. <laughs> right. And um, so there are these dies that you can buy. So this is the Sizzix uh, from Tim Holtz. And you can cut out all sorts of different sizes of um, tags. Tags. That's it. Uh, or <laughs> if you sometimes look in the magazines like uh, paper craft um, and all that sort of uh, magazines you can sometimes get a freebie and this is the one I got from the last one have a look in the previous couple of videos you will see a flip through of that magazine or like a little demo so there is a tiny little one today which I'm going to use otherwise if you have already something in your stash pull it out Mommy, yeah. I talk to him camera? you want to talk to the camera what do you want to say to the camera and in these lovely pants <laughs> Mason says that he can see lovely pencils, which you can't see. They're over there. And in the pencils, we make a lot of paints. And my pencil looks green, so I think I need this color one. Yes, he likes pencils and he likes coloring. So, so what we're doing is we're going to create a tag with um, stamps and also some watercolors, and we'll use different mediums to decorate yes. them. Yeah. And we're going to decorate some walls with this. Yes, and then we're going, in the end, we're going to use this pom-pom soup <laughs> to um, add some lovely uh, detail. So first of all, I'm going to switch the camera off <laughs> and die cut um, this little tag here so that the video is not too long. So that's what I'm going to do from a watercolor paper and I'm going to cut out one for myself and one for Mason and we're going to work together today. Is that right? Yes. Okay, he's nodding. All right. Okay, we are back now. So we have cut out two tags yes. and we uh, also cut out two of these reinforcers, which I just realized now that for some reason the hole is quite low down um, on the tag, but it's okay. So later when we finish, we can put a little reinforcer here with the glue. Yes. And that will be quite a festive little tag hanging there of your Christmas tree. So that's what we've done. So one for Mason, one for Mummy. 
I have used the Canon um, watercolor paper, which has nice texture to it. I have blocked. Yes, and then we also have the acrylic blocks ready. Yes. Mason has them as well. Um, and then we have ink, which is Tim Holtz Distress Ink in Tattered Rose. And I have it now. Yes, we will do. So I've got a stamp set. Mason has one as well. Uh, obviously, since I made them, I have uh, quite a few for myself. And for me too. And for you too. So we're going to use the face um, base. So there is one for you, sweetheart. You need to uh, apply it onto... This one? I love yes, it. yes. But do it in such a way, look, watch mommy, in such a way that it sticks. This is for very, very much uh, beginners. <laughs> if you're doing this for the first time. Okay, so the way I like doing it is, wow, well done, show to the camera. Mason already did it, but the wrong way, sweetheart. The same thing, but you need to have it that way. Yeah, you did really well. Good job. Okay, so the way I like doing it is when the cutting line is there, or the impression line, I just put it face down and then use my acrylic block that way. So have two cheeks. Two cheeks, that's it. So now watch what mommy is doing. Now we're going to ink it up like so. I'm using a very, very light color so that we can later add detail. So now you're going to do the same. Once you ink it up, put it sort of I'll do myself. lower down. Yeah, you do it. That's it. Lower down because we will need oh dear so <laughs> we will need this area to be free for the pompons later i hope you can see sorry the angle is different today but i have to make sure that we can fit in the desk as well as the um filming everything okay sweetheart i think this is enough you're putting in the middle of it which you don't need okay so now you're going to stamp your stamp. No, 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 this is upside down, sweetheart, just like mommy did. Can you see that? You need to turn it around and stamp it this way. Like this. Like that, that's it. Amazing. Hold it for a few seconds. And then let's lift it. That's it, very good. Let's show to the camera. So Mason has a nice nice impression there and um, nice impression my one yes very good so to clean them if your kid gets the um, ink all over the place you just need like a little bit of paper um, that I find is much better than what about Mickey Mouse Mickey Not Mouse that. no um, I find that's much better than using tissue paper so just like a little post-it and then just kind of go inside like so, and that will take off the excess ink. And what that about is, me, I don't. That's it. You, yeah, you can stamp it like that onto here to clean it up. Yeah. Yes. Do you want to do that quickly? Very good. Okay, so that's it. Next thing we're going to do is build up the face. Now for the face, we're going to use smaller. Small eyebrows. Eyebrows. That's it. Like I have. There you go. Not so eyebrows. Short We're going to start with lips. Which lips do you like? Tell me. I like this one. This one. Okay, you can have this one. Stick it. Stick it onto the acrylic block. I'm like going to not. pick a different one for this myself. One or not. Yes, that's it. That side. So again, we did that. Oh. You did a good job there. Leave it. Leave it on. That's it. So now we're going to stamp the lip. I put it quite low in the face just because I like it like that. Let's see where Mason will put it. Put the stamp, uh, because it's small Mason, it's easier to go with the... Uh, I'll do it. Yes, you do it, you do it, sweetheart. Push it in. That's it, and now you can stamp it onto the paper. Yeah. Take it into your hands and stamp it onto the face. That's it. Very good. 
Okay, I'm going to do fast forward for the rest of the face and then we will catch up at the end. Now you can clean it there. All right. Okay, so we have now finished with the stamping part of it. So basically that's what we have. Mason decided to use the uh, eyebrows as a moustache. And so you can let your child really enjoy the process and let them be creative. And, you know, um, I think the worst thing when it comes to children and art is killing the creativity. So if a child wants the moustache there, let them... Let them do it and have fun. So the next part of it is Mason has picked... Can I just show it quickly to the camera? Mason has picked the Koinor uh, Magic Pencil, which is the America color, I believe, from the Jumbo set. I will link everything down below so you can check it out. And I am going to pick... No, no, you can use that. You can use that. What's going on? I want a different one. Okay, so we want a different one. Okay, so Mason wants this one now, which is the <laughs> Koinor Magic, and I don't remember. Oh, this is the Neon's color. Okay. Neon's color. That's it. So I'm going to pick a uh, waterproof ink myself. And what we're going to do now, Mason, is going to line out everything that you have here. So line it out, yeah? Yes. Okay, we're going to start with the face. Painting like this. Very good, very good, Mason. Good job. And the other thing is you can learn so much from kids because they don't have that anxiety of, you know, mess something up. At this age, they just go for it. And I really, really find it inspiring and sometimes learn from him. Wow, look at that. Let's show it to the camera. I hope you can pick it out. The neon colors look pretty cool. Yeah, keep going. You need to line out everything. So I have done the face and now I'm going to do the eyebrows because everything is stamped out. It just takes no time at all. You just follow the lines and have fun with it. And um, lips I will probably live as they are. So I'm going to also well, do... for the mustache. Oh, we're going for different colors here. I can see. I see one for the moustache. Oh, the moustache gets also something. That's good. And for, for this. Very good. Oh, you, you're going through all of the colours. It's going to be quite colourful. I will look pretty. So, it looks like Mason already moved on to the colouring part of the process, which is absolutely fine. I'm still lining mine I, out. I mean, I like to use all the colors, or oh, I want to. I okay, you can use all the colors. So for the eyes, I'm going to use. Um, and I'm going to use this brush. This one. To look, look pretty. Right. This brush. Okay. And so this is now the zebra brush liner, which I believe is also waterproof. So we can move on to the watercolors in a mere minute. I'm waiting for. Um, I'm waiting for. Jackson's delivery so we have a few hours and that's why I decided to film this video and actually the other day I was um, I was doing something around the house and I had YouTube playing and one of my old videos came up where Mason was small and he would say see you soon in the end and I found it so sweet and I actually missed that and I thought you know memories are created this way and you know when he grows up and he can watch him doing this say bye bye to Arda bye bye to Arda yes <laughs> so yeah I decided to do it 
And also, I think, to inspire some of you who have kids or grandchildren um, to have some, you know, quality time with them. Okay, so I am at this stage now. And then, Mason, do you want to show yours? No. No? It's not finished. Not finished. Okay, we'll show it later then. So, at this point, I think I will actually also... Do the different colors for this. Do some sort of a. I've been really enjoying doing this I'll show lately. This now. It's ready. Okay, it's ready now, is it? Okay, can I show it, please? One second. All right, not ready then. Um, I'm going to go into. Let's see this one, Uniposca Black, which is a beautiful matte black. You can show it now to camera. Okay, are you sure? Yes. All right. Okay, so here is Mason's version. It's a little Picasso piece, which looks really cool. Do you want to give her some color on the lips? Lipstick? Yeah, lipstick. Do you want to pick something? Something for the lipstick. Look, I'll give you even one of my precious polychromos or not. Or maybe one of those you'd enjoy. Hold on, I'll show you. So there are a few colors here from this is the same as he was using the magic pencils just from the like triangle yeah like triangle that's it so you can and like my dad I watch you can use the color for the lips and also cheeks yeah to give her a little color in there and I'm just going to continue with adding a bit of black like a nice and your pencils mm-hmm are they fun yes very good and one for this so Posca serves a good... It's going everywhere. I think I need little tissue for that. No, that's fine. You don't need it. Uh, Posca serves a good... I don't have a run out of them. <laughs> I ran out of them last uh, last night and I didn't have time to... No, 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 sweetheart. No, 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 no. Save it. Okay, not with that, please. Okay. So leave the pom-poms because we're going to do that. Can you just now color the cheeks and the lips, okay? Just do that and then relax a little. So Posca serve a good purpose uh, for like a base um, because they dry matte and what you can do on top is Finish just this one. Let's go in that one. add some gold detail if you want to and make it really festive. I haven't decided yet what sort of pattern I will add onto here, if any at all. I might just leave it nice and striking. So for myself, I am now going to go into watercolor. Why are I putting it like this? So I wonder why I want. It. All right. Do you want to use some watercolor? Yes. Yes. Okay. Finish the beacon. So I need some watercolour for that. And you need some watercolour. Okay, well let's use Mummy's precious lip and cheek watercolours. Who made these? Mummy. Mummy did, that's right. So I want to make something for you too. Very good. So I'm going to just, um, for the purpose that I don't want to... <laughs> what about this one you don't? have too much mass here. I'm just going to... I'll put some more through this. Okay. Mason, so be careful when you're going to use the brush. I'll give you a nice... I want that one. No, you need a little one. No, this is too big, sweetheart. So when you're working on the size like that, you need something nice and small. Wait, 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 wait. No, I'm not ready yet. No, here. This is nice and small. So this is Vicky Button. Can I show it? Vicky Button number four. Fun, fun little craft uh, brush. So what you're going to do is wet your brush first. Yeah, that's it. Once it's nice and wet, Let's do it again. now you're going to dip it into watercolor, but very gently, very gently, gently, Mason. This is too much. <laughs> okay, all right, sweetheart, that's it. There you go. Are you going to put it on the lips? Huh? Wow, look at that. Now let's do it today. Yes. Okay. Right, so that's probably enough for Mason there. And then I am going to do Mason, sweetheart. Yes. All right, we're back. So I just had to dry off my finger. It looked like it was <laughs> um, all covered in red paint. So 
yes so we're back to no that's not for painting mason that's for something else so mason waiting is for his watercolor to dry which is um, a bit too much there so i'm just going to dab it off slightly to help the process right so <laughs> this was such a good idea to begin with so i'm going to um give her a little um and then a balloon slide up the blue wow i'm going to give her a little skin tone it's not working that close so i have to change this oh this one's a bit a big one it's a big one mommy and the way I'm doing it is I'm adding a little bit on the side and then taking it out. Oh, Tim holds splatter brushes. So. You show the old camera. I'll show it to yeah, the camera. Yeah, okay, you can show it. Here we go. There we go. He's like, rush it like this, like in the video. Mm -hmm. And I don't like this with the paint. No. And it's a like a little brush and then like a... Slick a needle. Wow. And a slick bit of yuck into it. Okay. All right. So uh, now we have a bit of a skin tone here, and I'm going also going to add some orange. Duh. Just a little. Just in the nose area. Drop this. And here and there. So. That's all I'm doing. I also, sometimes underneath the eyes. Sometimes. Okay, this you don't need. This is tweezers, Mason, okay? Tweezers. <laughs> Have I said that I put a lock uh, on my room? Be yes. Camera. A long time I didn't see this brush on the stone or I didn't know this your video, mummies. Yeah. So funny. So funny, I know. So now I'm going to add a little bit of pink into the and I have some more colors uh mason <laughs> okay what color do you want sweetheart and um, pink pink okay there you go thank you it's not too much okay because otherwise it'll take really long to dry so then I'm going to go into um probably a pink lip just to make it nice and light like so And again, adding some pink into the cheek. And then maybe some of the pink as well throughout the face, just to connect a few things. Hello. And that is it. Wow, look at that. That's very nice. That's little polka dots. Yeah, because, because I need to look pretty with this. Very good. So here is the face. And then shall we show yours? Let me brush this first. Okay. Right, so Mason is using dry brushing technique, which is when you take still wet watercolor and then just drag it and make uh, brush strokes. Right, so I'm going to put a lip, lid onto the water because... Because it will dry up. Yes, because uh, we don't want any accidents here. And then I forgot to give her some ears. It looks a little bit odd at the minute, so... I'm just going to... You can show it now, Mommy. Give her ear lobs. You can show it, Mommy. Okay, one second, please. With some small... What about this wash head time, Earrings. No, that's not for it, sweetheart. That's um, for something else. And then we're going to... You go come out on it, Julie. Just add a little bit of colour onto the ear lobs. Now. Okay, yes. There we go. So um, potentially you could see the face in there, but it's a very abstract one, which is really fun. And then what we're going to do next... It's like a wobbly face. Mm -hmm. Looks a wobbly jelly. I'm going to work on my eyes. Do you want to add some color to your eyes? My eyes? Not your eyes, but the eyes that you painted. Do you want to add a color? You can pick a color. Bit like blue color. eyes okay I am going to go for a three shades of gray so I'm going to start with the lightest 
from the middle to the left. Urban, I'm a bit busy now. <laughs> Who's urban? And so the third grey is going to go right onto the edge and usually the three colours within one, the same colour family, adds a nice dimension. So hardly any colour there, but it just sort of works as a little shading. So that's this. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to stick these little gold embellishments. Are you ready for that? Is that a yes? Gold embellish. yes. Embellishment, that's it. Embellishing. So what we're going to do is... We're going to do some of this. I'm trying In to pen. find my glue. Want to stick pom poms? What I need to paint. So we're going to pick different colors. What like this? Because there's, there's some prim prim shoes. Yeah. So just pick a few colors that you want. I like this. That's it. Um, Put them on the desk. Inch. Very good. A few more. And a bit of pink. Bit of layer. Bit of pink. Are you done? Yep. You don't want any more? Right, okay. So I'm going to use my beloved Gina K because I won't have any problems with that one, I assume. I think it's nice and dry now. So what you can do is I'm going to put glue over there and you're going to stick your pom-pons. Okay, so what you're going to do is just where the line is, can you see the line of glue? That is where you're going to add the pom-poms to. All right? Can you do that? That's it. Perfect. And you leave it and then you do next one. That's it. So annoying. So I'm going to do the same here. Like Mason does. Like Mason does, exactly. So everyone should do the same. We're going to do a nice line. And I'm going to a fake pink place them like that, one to next to the other. Mommy, I need some more blue. You need more? Yeah. So you stick this purpose. One second. So they're nicely closed together like that. Where do you want more? Here on the side. Okay. This one as well? No. On this side? I there you no. go. Do you want me to wipe it now? This one. No. This one is very bossy. So I'm going to go ahead and go all the way down like so. like so and I think it looks really really cute you could add like another row if you wanted to you want to show as well there we go and they look really really fun so now we're going to pick a nice little ribbon to go yeah. and to that in the Christmas tree. that's it and it can, you can hang it on the Christmas tree to here for tomorrow to hang something. Actually, I decided I would like to remove <sighs> just one of them and stick a couple of them. Now I think 
she looks fun. There we go. So yes. Mason wants to also do that. So where, tell me where to put the glue. Here the and there. Okay, there you go, two dots. So we're just going to finish off doing his and then I'm going to show you how you can hang it and create a lovely ornament for your Christmas tree or anywhere in your house, in fact. All right, let's show your ornament. Here we go. Isn't it lovely? Isn't it lovely? It looks so pretty. Okay, so now I'm going to pick a little ribbon and we're going to come back. Right, so Mason wants the purple one. So I couldn't find the other... Um, I had this, like, other cotton yard, but... This will work just perfectly because of the color scheme here. So I'm going to use this one for myself. And which one do you want? This one? Mason will have the purple one for his. And what you need to you open do... It up, mommy. Yeah, but hold on. Give it to me. When he was little, he used to come into my room and play with these. You need to measure roughly a bit longer than the tag itself. And then you're going to tie it inside there, inside the hole. So tiny. So I'm going to show you, look. Camera. Take. Sometimes I like these purples. So I play these and you win the death. Right, so what you need to do, sweetheart, is you need to double it up. Like so. Are you doing your own thing? Yes. Right. So double it up like that, and then I like it to go from the back to the front because that creates a lovely little um, knot. Look. And then you can just tie a little knot right at the end of it. Like so. And there is your ornament ready. You could hang it. That's it. So I hope you enjoy this little crafty Christmassy um, ornament making together with the little ones. It please the ones. Yeah. Because I need to tie this up for your wine to like. Okay, Mason is doing a different version of, of the uh, tying up of the cotton yarn. And that is it for today. Really? Do you want to say anything to the camera? And this one will make a long plain print, like a country version. Would you like a swan and a lot and make a noise music? So you want to make it loud? Okay. Right then. <laughs> On that note, I hope you enjoyed it and have fun with your little ones, even though sometimes it can be challenging. But just make sure you protect your desk and the rest just enjoy it. And thanks for watching. See you soon. See you soon.